very good Tuesday morning to you. You are watching Why in the Morning and it is Entrepreneurship Tuesday. My name is Hilda Wadidi and this is the day when we let you see how young people out here are making, uh, you know, ends meet and also making a few miracles happen for themselves. And speaking of miracles, today we are going to be talking about pencil royalty. You know, something very interesting. We have one Paul Mugai here. He's a pencil artist. His work is all over the place here by the way on set so you can be able to see it. And we're just going to talk, we're just going to talk to him and find out how he fell in love with this pencil oh the, the, the amazing accomplishments he has gotten out of this so make sure you do keep it here at white to four channel on twitter hashtag why in the morning hashtag entrepreneurship tuesday on facebook we're at white to five four on instagram at white to five four underscore channel so do make sure you do stay tuned on bstv we are channel three seven six star times eight two four ah uh, no star times 54 signet eight two four so yes do keep it here anyway it's about time we meet the entrepreneur himself paul mungai yes Please say good morning to people. Yes, hello everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Karibu sana wa 254 for the San sana. <laughs> San sana. I can see amazing, amazing human figures here. <laughs> but before we get to your particular uh, human figures who we're going to talk about in detail, when did you fall in love with the pencil and why did you pick this form of artistry? Uh -huh. uh, since I was young, mm -hmm. uh, I've been drawing when I was in primary school. I mean, I went to high school. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you did art? Did you do art? No, you're talking about cuckoo and art. So... Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> For real? No. Mm -hmm. art that time. Mm -hmm. and art, yeah. So, it's art. Uh -huh. yeah. So, when did you decide you wanted to draw pictures of human beings? Mm -hmm. It is interesting doing a, a drawing when I, you know, when I'm doing human uh, than other portraits, mm -hmm. like uh, landscapes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's the best for me. It's the me. best, but yeah. can you still do the others? What were uh, you drawing when you were still training yourself? Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> you were uh, oh, <laughs> oh, you were drawing trees? Please, uh -huh. yeah. Sometimes uh, I, I could draw even uh, uh, on my teachers. Your school, teachers, yeah. oh, yeah. Uh -huh. that's when I when I was in uh, in primary school, mm -hmm. in high school. I'd like to see your past uh, pictures uh, of your teachers. <laughs> I do have them at uh -huh. home, but uh, next time I think I'll come with them. Uh, you'll come with them so yeah. you can see the growth, you yes, know. Yeah, because I can imagine by the time you achieve this kind of perfection. Tell me about the first portrait that you did that came out almost literally mm. like exactly how you wanted it to be, and who was it you had drawn? <laughs> I did one for. Uh, deputy president uh -huh. uh, that was the year 2015 mm -hmm. yeah it was good mm -hmm. and uh, I, when i give i give it to him yeah he was very happy mm -hmm. yeah so that's the one that, that i can remember that is your best one it that was is the, best. the peak of your and it was yeah. the 2015 uh, so you've been drawing for how many years so people don't uh, think that it's automatic i think for seven uh seven mm -hmm. years now seven years and you've yes, become this good yeah that's what i do uh-huh yeah this is not your full-time full-time work yeah uh, yeah I how? do pay my bills through art. You pay your bills through art? Yeah. How I sustainable is it? And I know now you have climbed the yeah. ladder because <laughs> you know our deputy president has bought not uh, once but twice, twice from yeah. this gentleman in studio. Mm -hmm. Please tell us how sustainable is this is and how much do these things go for anyway? Mm -hmm. Tell me about the first one you sold and how much you sold it. For. Okay. Um, uh, it depends on uh, size, mm -hmm. details. Mm -hmm. uh, so. Uh, the price varies uh, depending on uh, size and details, mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, depending on who. Uh, uh, it depends. Uh, you know, sometimes uh, there are some people who come to me. Mm -hmm. They want portraits. They don't have money, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I have to do them because I want to market my job. At oh, that so time, so you do give pro bonos. Yeah, mm -hmm. at that time I can charge maybe even uh, at. Uh, Twenty five hundred. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow. So you actually portrait like that one. Uh huh. Yeah. Let me ask you. I can mm. see some yeah. variety so. here. I can see some of them are majorly in black and white, and some of them are colored. Yeah. So like when do you decide? How do you choose which ones <laughs> to color and which ones to yeah. leave black and white? Uh huh. You know, when you come to me mm. and, and you maybe you want a portrait, you can tell me maybe you you want a black and white a pencil work. That mm -hmm. uh, yeah mm -hmm. or charcoal. Also, this is uh, 
colored, you can see it. Mm -hmm. I use paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you want uh, uh, pencil work, I mm -hmm. give it to you. I do it for you. But if you want uh, paints, mm -hmm. I am, yeah. I do also. You do all of them? Yeah. Which one is your favorite? Do you like coloring or do you no, like the black and white? No, pencil work. That, uh, yeah. You like black and white? Black and white. Ah, you, oh, okay. The list. So why, yeah. why, why black and white? Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> I don't know, but uh, when I'm doing a pencil work, mm -hmm. it is very interesting, mm -hmm. although it takes a lot of time. I can like imagine. Like that one, uh -huh. I took uh, like uh, three days. Three days? Yeah. So how long did Even this, this one, one take? Yeah. This one, uh, it took uh, five days. Seven? Five days. Five days. Yeah. The Mwangiwa area? Yeah, Mwangiwa area. Mm. Uh -huh. So it has a lot of work. Uh -huh. yeah. It takes a lot of work. Yeah. I can see that um, you've mostly are drawn um, politicians. Mm -hmm. So I want, I want to just talk about what your work <laughs> aims to say. What's the message when you draw and you sit down? What do you want people to see? What do you want people to... What message do you want us to receive? when you have these figures here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you want to know the reason I do human... Uh, yes, the politicians. Uh, I, can I can see I, what I, uh, You see, like see. this one. Uh -huh. This, uh, he's not a politician. Uh -huh. Yeah. Also, you don't have client. any biasness. <laughs> yeah, no. It's only that uh, today I keep with, the, with this one. Uh -huh. uh, uh, for Mongolia, uh -huh. uh, I did two. William Luto. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I do politicians uh -huh. for politicians and uh, Other human uh, pastors. Figures. Pastors? Yeah, students. Wow. Uh -huh. Yeah. So you, you're cut across basically. Yeah, that's Your message so. is just human. Mm. You just want to draw. You just yes. want to bring, yeah. you, you want to bring us to life through your pencil. Uh -huh. So now this deputy president story is, it keeps mm. on coming up. So let's mm. talk about that. Mm -hmm. So um, let's talk about your first experience. How did you put yourself out there? How did you market yourself to that point where you got the deputy president? Mm -hmm. you know? I, I do market myself through Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, Twitter. Oh, social media. Yeah. Huh? yeah. So someone so my work uh -huh. and uh, uh, he made an effort uh -huh. yeah then uh, when we met uh -huh. then he told me that uh, a deputy president wants a portrait mm -hmm. yeah and i had From to do Paul it for Mugai. yeah good day so here i had to do one for uh -huh. him mm -hmm. yes how did it feel what is going I was through very your happy mind <laughs> i never expected uh, uh, -huh. uh that mm -hmm. but i thank god so far so good mm -hmm. Mm, I can say I've seen, yes, I have done a few things mm -hmm. through art. Uh -huh. Yeah, although marketing, uh, I think uh, that's one challenge that I have okay. of marketing. Uh -huh. Yeah. Wow, but I think mm. you're doing well. <laughs> yeah, if you I'm got doing a well second well. buy, a second yeah. run at it, that is amazing. So tell mm. me about the second time he came for the mm -hmm. picture. The second time we had an event and he came. Mm -hmm. That time I prepared a, a good for him mm -hmm. and uh, he was very happy mm -hmm. yeah for the second or for the second time yeah also to receive a portrait done by me you're yes. very shy i mm. want to hear his comments <laughs> what did he say what did he tell you no. did you know, like Paul mm, my friend uh -huh. you know i'd like to he appreciated <laughs> and at uh -huh. least uh, he gave me some uh, some money mm -hmm. so yeah wow that i can imagine the, uh, that yeah, was that quite a boost yeah okay let's talk yeah. about other um other pencil artists is there any artist in particular that you admire who has inspired your work or is it just mm -hmm. i don't know it just came out of nowhere or was there anybody in particular you were looking up to yes i have um uh i think you know gado gado mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. yes the cartoonist uh, yeah the cartoonist ah i also do sure. cartoons uh -huh. yeah mm. so you also do animations that's yeah. why you've diversified into yeah yeah Wow, so we're going to see some cartoons yeah. soon enough. <laughs> what was your favorite cartoon while you were growing up? Mm -hmm. Babu. It was called Babu. Babu? Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I was expecting something different, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> yes. So we'd like to... Okay, so why is it that you want to diversify into cartoon? Cartoon, the cartoon... What do you call it? Cartoonry? <laughs> Uh -huh, come yeah. again. Uh, why do you want to diversify into the cartoonry? What has piqued your interest about cartoons? Uh -huh. yeah, you know... When you are doing cartoons, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you, 
it is very also interesting mm -hmm. doing cartoons mm -hmm. because uh, it is different from portraits. Uh -huh. now you are trying to imagine the, uh, that, uh, that, uh, uh, to create the image mm -hmm. yeah, uh, of that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when you are uh, trying to create that image, uh, you also take time to, to, to be more creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so you actually want to bring images? It is very interesting doing cartoons, actually. Yeah, I can mm. see that from the yeah. emphasis. Mm. <laughs> then, I'm, then I'm looking forward to seeing some of your cartoons. Uh, you, um, you've mentioned that you take almost five to yeah, three five. days doing one, just one portrait. Three, How yeah. do you keep yourself motivated, like, to keep going? Like, you're like, I don't even feel like drawing this person anymore. Do you get this? Like, how do you keep yourself motivated? You know, I know by the end of the day, when I do a portrait, I'll get something. Uh -huh. That's what motivates me. <laughs> the money. Yeah, uh, money. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's talk about um, maybe mm. um, um, mentorship. Mm -hmm. Are you a one-man party? One-man mm, yes. standing? Yes. You, you don't but have a team? Do you plan I don't on have getting a team? A team? I don't have a team, but uh, I have a workshop mm -hmm. yeah, where I work from mm -hmm. in Bika. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where I, I work from. So, okay, let's talk mm -hmm. about, um, okay, you know, when people are starting out uh, uh, their own businesses, whether it's entrepreneurship, mm -hmm. um, there's always the issue of capital um, and, and getting um, the resources, getting gathering resources in order for you to get to whatever it is you want to do. Mm -hmm. Please tell me, how much did it cost you to start? Like to get the pencils, mm -hmm. the color pencils, the paint, the papers, the stuff. How do you get, how do you get your Not resources? Not a lot of money, especially mm -hmm. when you are doing uh, pencil work. Oh, uh huh. But uh, when you are doing uh, uh, paints, mm -hmm. they are, you know, they are very expensive. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's another challenge that I have. Uh -huh. mm. So it's 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 kind of cost kidogo. Yeah, it's very challenging mm. sometimes because sometimes you need a lot of money to buy paints. Sometimes uh -huh. sometimes you can buy, and I find uh, that uh, they are expired. You know. Oh, so yeah. you can buy and they've expired. Yeah, the, the quality is but poor. But whose fault you know? is that? You should have checked the expiry date. Just say. <laughs> <laughs> Just say. But anyway, yeah. I'm wondering, um, now that you've mentioned that this equipment or these pencils and the paints is expensive, mm -hmm. um, what can the government do to make your life easier as a pencil artist? Did you even express this concerns to the deputy president or are you so mm -hmm. happy you forgot no, to no. complain? <laughs> I don't know, uh -huh. but I think uh, next time when we meet, Mm -hmm. I'm going to explain that to, to him. Uh -huh. Yeah. What are the challenges you know, do you see in this industry think, that can be sorted? Mm -hmm. The government should uh, support youth. Mm -hmm. yes, yeah, the talented youth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, the challenge that we have. No we don't support. get support from government. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't that. have, what about galleries? I've been hearing that a lot of artists have been pulling together to have exhibitions and mm -hmm. stuff. Have you heard of anything of that nature? I have heard, but uh, uh, yes, I have heard, uh, yes, for, uh -huh. yeah. Have but you I participated have, in any? I have never. Why? Uh, mm -hmm. I'm trying to network, but uh, I, know, I know very soon uh -huh. I will join some people uh -huh. and we are going to do something good. You're yeah, I know few, uh, I have few friends, uh -huh. yeah, who are doing that. Okay. And I know very soon I'm going to join them. All right. Yeah, but uh, um, yeah, I know very soon I'm going to to partner with some people. So right now you're just doing yeah, the basics. For, you're yeah, just for now I'm doing it alone. Yeah. Doing your social media. Yeah, social media. I do marketing. Uh -huh. I do social media. Yeah. How do you keep? Okay, I so how do you keep your clients coming back? Considering like. Um, well, now we know that the deputy president got her second round. What mm -hmm. about your other clients? Like, how do you mm -hmm. keep them coming back? What is it? What is it that is so unique about you that you can say that uh, keep, that keeps bringing people back to you? Yeah, you know, I keep posting my work mm -hmm. on social media, mm -hmm. with, uh, on Facebook. Yeah, and uh, when uh, people see what I am doing, they do call me asking how much are you going to charge me, you know? Yeah, that, that's how I, I do interact with my customers. Uh -huh. Yeah, so uh, posting um, uh, more pictures 
on Facebook. It makes them want more projects, yeah. like do some more work, yes. do me again, because yes. they can see the skill growing. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you're showing that you should, you, 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 you display your progress, like. That's what I do. Ah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's talk about um, discouraging moments. Every entrepreneur has those moments when they feel like, oops, this and this went wrong. Have you ever drawn somebody and they told you, no, I yes, don't yes. want this? Yes. And how did you deal with that disappointment? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you, you are forced to, to repeat a portrait. You do it again. Okay. Yeah, you can so do something. Some a customer comes and says, hey, this uh -huh. does, does not look like me. Uh -huh. So you have to go back to the drawing board and start something new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I can imagine. So mm. how do you deal? How do you how do you deal with yourself? Sometimes it is very disappointing, <laughs> <laughs> but you have to uh, to to keep going, mm -hmm. no matter what you are going through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are so many challenges, but someone ha you have to to keep moving. You have to keep moving. Yeah. Okay, so what about, aside from the deputy president, mm. tell me about your other favorite, most fulfilling moment of your career. Mm -hmm. Okay, I did uh, 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 this uh, in 2016. I mm -hmm. did a portrait uh, uh, for Honorable uh, Ares Wahome. Wow, I'm yeah. so glad MP to hear Kadara. a lady now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, it was, uh, he was, she was very happy actually. How come to, you're to very coy with the comments? I think that you just tell us what they say. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. um, sometimes mm -hmm. they, they do encourage me, uh -huh. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, uh, they also give referrals. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. yeah. I do more portrait. Uh, uh, so, uh, you say that uh, I do target politicians. Uh -huh. Yeah, you know. Also, you, in business, you must know uh, your clients. Mm -hmm. You must have a target. You know, you need money, so you must uh, target people who you know they can pay well. Uh huh. Yeah. I like so that. So you, you also know, target I, your customers. You're like, yeah, hmm. those people are maybe who have money. Mm -hmm. But also, I do for people who even don't have. I do for free. Yeah. Just to market myself. Mm. Yeah. And also to grow your skill and yeah. continue showcasing yeah. your progress. Yeah. All right, that's amazing. At least mm. I've learned something from you. You know, you need mm. to target correct. You know yeah. where you are shooting your arrows. Mm. Don't just go shooting into the air and then yes. feeling discouraged. Yeah. But okay, it's about time we conclude this segment. Uh, we need to come in with the next interview. So mm -hmm. make sure you do let us know your social media handles and maybe just a small word for someone at home who is thinking of pursuing this. Uh, who want to do art? Mm -hmm. Okay, art is good. It pays. So if you are an artist, um, uh, you need to take it seriously mm -hmm. yeah, and do more practice. Take it yeah. seriously and continue practicing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank yeah, you, Sana, Paul Oh, Mungai. my Facebook yes. account, uh, Paul Mungai mm -hmm. Fundi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Paul Mungai Fundi. Uh, can I give my number? Oh, yeah. So please, go yes. ahead. <laughs> my number is 0704-7355. Mm -hmm. That's my number. Shika, shika. <laughs> <laughs> can I repeat? <laughs> no, it's okay. Then find you on social okay. media at Paul Mungai Fundi. Paul Mungai Fundi. Yeah. All right. So, one very most is coming up next, the next interview. Thank mm. you so much for being with us in studio today. I hope okay. one day when I become prominent, I will also buy some of your portraits. Uh, yes, I do mm. one for you. Oh, yes. yes. Thank, thank you, thank you very, much. very much for hosting me. Oh, God bless you. Yeah. Have a good day. All yeah. right. Peace.